Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. Left for dead on the sands of Tatooine. <laughs> so I want to wish you a happy new year. How are you all? 2022. And this is a video just on the back of my review of the Book of Boba Fett. And loads of people in the comments said, too short in the Sarlacc pit. You know, and I agree. That's one of the things I said. It was such a shame that we didn't see more of the Sarlacc pit. I really enjoyed the first episode of the Book of Boba Fett. I want to see more. But I definitely want to see more of the Sarlacc pit escape. Now, there's two choices here. There's two things that could happen. Number one, that's it. You won't see any more. They've done it. They've, they've shown you that he was in there and he escaped and that's it. They want to move on, which is which in itself could be a good thing because they've probably got a treasure trove of stories they want to tell. However, I want to see more of that escape and there's a, there's a chance they will. If you look at the Mandalorian with Din Djarin and he had recurring flashbacks throughout season one, you know, the attack by the super battle droids on his planet and then you saw eventually what happened when he was, you know, made a foundling and rescued by the Death Watch. But I want to see more of this and the other question is what is why is there an imperial stormtrooper in there so i think that maybe we will see a bit more if we don't it'll be like the most frustrating thing to date since you know not finding out who where maz kanata got the bloody lightsaber of luke's you know what i mean it will be like that it will be a real annoyance but th there's a chance they will the stormtrooper i don't know why he's in there i said in my review that it would have been nice to have seen a weak way or a nikto or some, <laughs> something like that the um the other thing that came up in my comments was you know when did the sarlacc die now when he was in there you can hear some kind of beating that's obviously you know, maybe the heart beating or the the stomach functions or whatever of the creature working but then when he climbs out you know everything's dead As, you know it, Obviously, the katana is not on fire. It's not smoking anymore. So, I'd guess that it was a day after, a couple of days, maybe. But you know, how did it die? Some people are saying that it died because of the katana blowing up. Some people are saying that it's dead because of Boba Fett, which I think is probably more likely because he probably killed it. And you know, by the time he craw you know crawled out of the thing, you know, which would have been an absolute. <laughs> ordeal in itself it was dead and by then the katana the fire had gone out whatever after it blew but I don't know let me know what you think and also all of these questions they really invite more information that we need to see so I really hope they show us more I, I, I really have got my I've really got my fingers crossed that they will do that in the remaining episodes of the book of Boba Fett but as I say there's one thing that is for certain for myself is that I cannot wait to watch more of it to find out what, you know, regardless of the Sarlacc, what, what happens with him and the dynamics of all these new crime lords and how he infiltrates that scene, you know, and develops. So on that note, I will leave it there. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to do called Facts and Figures. I have been meaning to do this for so long. I don't want to just talk about the Book of Boba Fett. There's so much I want to talk about with Star Wars and I want to integrate as much as I can you know, footage from the films and my three and three quarter inch action figure collection, which is the best in terms of the legacy scale. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Do subscribe if you are new around here and stay tuned for more. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>